we're using the Thompsons water seal clear wood seal. We're going to waterproof these boards for the house. Kind of good because I tell you, I got puddles everywhere, places where I really shouldn't have any. So I poured some of that into this pot and we got the brush that what we use for the bumps. So let's get started. You gotta be someplace, but this is still gotta get done. Slap it on. We want it to get soaked in as much as possible. There's something they didn't do in the mobile home to begin with. For the life of me, why they didn't, I don't know. It's just cheap, I guess. Make sure we get it on the ends. Boy, I tell you this, it's looking right up. I decided when I got to put these things on, I was going to uh, put it on one piece and not cut it. The reason is I can use these bending plates to hold them together. Okay. Flip it over. Like that. Do the other side. It doesn't matter if it runs down over the sides. We want this thing sealed. I hope you're having a nice Saturday. Mine started at 6 a.m. or technically 6.30 a.m. with a uh, round of thunderstorms. All right. Pull it down. I get this done. Get it dry. Sooner I can get, uh, I got to try to pick up a jack for the mobile home today. From Harbor Freight. Got water dribbling everywhere. Storm was that bad, we didn't want to pass a lot of things on the new roof. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Exciting. Seeing this in real time. Do one more, and I'll do the other one off camera, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right. We can get more of this anyways. All right. Got it all down. We're going to turn the fan on and let it dry. So that's it for this video. I'll see you here next time on Lynn's Homestead, where we'll continue 
on my projects. And I'll show you the jack when it comes. Hopefully they ha still have it. Don't like the price of it, but uh, the jack I'm looking at will lift 40,000 pounds. That should be more than enough to lift that thing, at least one corner of it. I'll see you next time.